YouTubers. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a look I'm wearing right now, which is a taupey brown smoky eye. Uh, it just looks like this. Um, I used a couple of, well I used a MAC eyeshadow satin taupe, which I got a little while ago and I really, really like. And I also used a lot of the colors from my Naked palette, because I had a lot of requests from people to use this more in tutorials. But if you don't have the Naked palette or you haven't gotten your hands on it yet, because I know it's been sold out at a lot of places, um, I would recommend trying to find similar colors either if you have like the Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette or the Coastal Scents 88 Warm Palette even better. Um, or if you just have like a taupey colored, a couple of maybe drugstore palettes or even like high-end palettes, just looking for similar like taupey gray colors and even you could use a matte black instead of like, I use this creep color here. Um, you could use like a matte black instead of that, you know. So just definitely use whatever shadows that you have and I'll show you how I did this look. So just keep watching. So I've already primed my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Next I'm taking MAC Eyeshadow in Satin Taupe and a flat shader brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid um, in the area below the crease. Because I'm using dark shadows today, I didn't do my concealer yet. So just like that. Next, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'm going to take the color Dark Horse, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take a um, MAC 217 brush and I'm going to apply that all over... Um, into my crease and like blend that into the outer one third of my lid. Now I'm not going to worry about the shape of the eyeshadow too much right now because I'm going to clean it up with a makeup wipe after. You could also tape it if you want to but I just find for this look, it's a little bit more, um, it's less of a harsh line when you just wipe it off with a makeup wipe. You want to blend it really well and blend it down into the lid so that it blends, like this color blends really well with the satin taupe color. As you can see, I've taken it up pretty high, but don't worry, we're going to deal with that after. And the shape of it, like I said, is not a very nice shape yet, but it will be. Next, I'm going to take a kind of like a crease brush like this, and I'm going to take the color Creep right here, this dark kind of blackish gray color, and I'm going to apply that into my crease or kind of into my outer V and blend it down. So, just like this, right in the crease area, and then blend it down onto the lid like that. I'm gonna take that 217 again, and blend this out really well. I use a wind, windshield wiper motion. Okay, so right now I look kind of like I got punched in the eye, but don't worry, it won't stay like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that makeup wipe and make this a nicer shape. But as you can see, the shadow on this side is not quite as harsh as this one because it's not taken up as high. Um, so what I'm going to do 
is first I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush like my 224 and I'm going to grab the color Naked, which is a good blending color, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone where it meets the dark horse color and just blend that out really well. Next, I'm going to grab the color Virgin, right here, it's the lightest color in the Naked palette, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone over where I put that Naked color. And this really tones everything down, and I'm actually applying it in here too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tiny low Cornell, um, this is the one quarter inch Maxine mop brush, and I'm going to take the color in Half Baked, it's this gold color, and I'm going to apply that very slightly into the inner corner as you can see right here. Um, I'm not going to apply too much because it's just to brighten everything up. This is a really cool color. I like it. I think it's probably my favorite color in the palette. And I'm also going to apply that like all over my inner corner. Just like so. And then I'm going to just take that flat shader brush that I used to apply the satin taupe. I'm just going to blend it in. I don't want to use too much. I just want it on the very inner corner. And then I'm going to take this brush and first I'm going to just apply the colors that I have on the lid on my lower lash line. So first I'm going to take Satin Taupe and this brush works really well for applying shadow to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to grab Dark Horse. And lastly, creep. And I'm going to kind of connect it to the shadow up here. And then I'm just going to blend that a little bit. And don't worry, we can reshape the eyeshadow again actually I'm gonna clean up all the fallout because well, we're not quite done with the shadow but we're just gonna reshape that a little bit again I'm going with the angle that it makes with my eyebrow if you see that Okay, so next I'm going to grab my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in zero, and I'm going to apply that to my upper lash line quite thickly, and it doesn't need to be perfect at all, because we're going to blend it out. I'm also going to apply that just um, to my, or I'm going to tight line, so to my upper water line. And then to my lower waterline as well. Okay. Next I'm going to take my 219 pencil brush. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of creep on there. And blend that liner out with the creep on the pencil brush. So see how nicely that just blends right in? It's a really nice smoky 
eyeliner to go with the smoky eye. Next, I'm just going to grab that makeup wipe one last time. I'm going to wipe away any fallout. And I'm going to go and apply my concealer and some mascara to my upper and lower lash line. I'm going to apply a lot of mascara and I'll be back to show you what I have on the rest of my face. Okay, so because the eyes are so dramatic and dark, um, I wanted to keep the cheeks and the lips really neutral. Um, I just used this e.l.f. blush in Peachy Keen for my cheeks. It's just a really light peach color. If you have a darker skin tone, um, just vary it accordingly. I don't know how well this would show up on a darker skin tone than mine. Um, and for my lips, I'm just wearing this NYX round lipstick in orange soda with this e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss in fairy and I talked about this in another video when I first got this saying how bad it smelled and I was looking at it in my stash the other day and I had never ever used it and I was like oh I wish I liked how that smelled because then I would totally wear it and I think I don't know what it is maybe I just my sense of smell is not working right now or maybe it like wore off or I don't know but this doesn't smell to me anymore at all like I don't know what happened so that's kind of weird but it's a really pretty light pink kind of like opalescent gloss that I just put over top of this to kind of create a nude kind of pinky nude lip um so this is what the eyes look like my lighting's not exactly perfect so this eye looks darker because it's kind of shadowed but um I hope you enjoy this look I really love taupey colors and you know dark grays and stuff like that and as far as a smoky eye I think it's a nice way of doing a smoky eye without it being too cool toned you know a lot of people do smoky eye that's like silver and black and first of all that can be kind of harsh looking especially if you're pale like me but also um I think that when you like this is not necessarily a warm tone look like both warm and cool skin tones could wear this but I think it just makes it first of all a little bit maybe more sophisticated looking or more modern looking and second of all it's just it isn't too cool tone so somebody with a warm skin tone could definitely pull this off um also I like the little pop of gold in the inner corner. I think that really brightens it up and makes it kind of fun. It's like a fun little surprise. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, and I really hope you guys have a really great day. Bye.